Hello again and how are we all? Okay, taking a slight change from the videos I've been putting out recently to share some news with you guys. Now this is a major announcement for some of you who have been following some of the stuff I've been doing, mainly in terms of last year. And here's exactly what I mean. So the big announcement is this. As you can see, as we are on the Facebook page for Steve Alton, the Meg movie is now official. It's been picked up by Warner Brothers and we're finally out of development hell. Now I'm just clicking onto the article so you guys can have a quick peek at what is being said. I will go into detail in just a moment after we take a look at what the article contains. Now, the Meg movie, as I said a couple of seconds ago, has been in development hell for the past 20 years, and Steve has gone from directors, producers, movie studios, even Del Toro at one point, but he went to work on other projects. But now it's been picked up by Warner Brothers, and we are finally green-lighted. Now, when this announcement first went out, it was about 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning over here in the UK. So I had to pretty much contain my excitement and I had to wait until I had come back from work in order to make this video to tell you guys about this if you're not following Steve's page and whatnot. Now, what could this potentially mean? Now, originally I was hoping that either Legendary or Universal were gonna be the studios to pick this up because Universal, they've got a director who has experience with big shark movies. And of course I'm talking about Steven Spielberg. I think if he was put in the director's chair, or at least the producer, he would do it justice. Because he's been there before. Granted, with all the technologies and whatnot. But it was proven that that film had the characterization that the, that the Meg book and its now official film adaptation seriously needs. He knows how to make a decent he knows how to get decent camera angles and develop characters and put scares and thrills in there, which is basically the book as a whole. The other reason why I say legendary is because they've been taking on a lot of intellectual properties that have done really well in the past few years. For example, just to name a couple, there's Pacific Rim. Granted, it's a lot more basic in terms of story and characterization compared to stuff like Meg, but it's the big action sequences that were done really well. Um, they also took on an older intellectual property, Godzilla, which came out last year. Very in touch with the original, they did it justice, which sadly wasn't done in 98, which still pisses off a lot of the fan base even now. Um, and more recently, Jurassic World, one of Universal's old properties. So, to me, I was hoping either one of those two studios was going to pick up Meg. Bit surprised Warner Brothers got in on this, but um, my hopes for the film is, well, this is very early days now because we don't know who's going to be cast as the lead characters, but I will be keeping you guys up to date on that as much as I possibly can, because having done the reviews about a year ago for the entire Meg series, well, that was out at the time, and this is before Origins became a part of the current library. At this point, at that point, Meg Origins was still an ebook only. But since then, it's now an audiobook, and it's now been bundled in this, the special edition, or should I say, the anniversary edition of Meg, which I am doing a review for. That is in progress. But speaking of sharks, that it's kind of ironic that this announcement comes out now, because. I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before last. It was the 40th anniversary of Jaws. So it kind of coincides with that, if, which is surprising and somewhat ironic. Uh, speaking of Jaws, by the way, people, 
I've got a review for this, which is nearly complete, and I'll be recording that soon for you guys to watch. Anyway, going back a bit on my expectations for the Meg movie, I'm hoping this is going to be the equivalent of a modern day Jaws, not Deep Blue Sea. Because I. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of shark movies. Jaws is an exception because that was a decent adaptation and as a kid it scared the crap out of me. Despite the fact you look at it now and the shark looks fake as hell. But the idea is what sticks with people and that haunting score, that is what terrifies you. The shark could look as fantastic as possible and the effects, great for the time. But it's the idea that you're out of your element and you're basically at the mercy of something that can obviously tear you to pieces. That's the lasting impression. It's not just the characters that make it, it's all of that combined. I and mean, I'm once again going off track. <laughs> I am so sorry guys, this is a really bad habit of mine. So yeah, the Meg movie is now official. Not sure if it's in production just yet, just that it's been picked up and it's now going ahead. It's no longer in development hell. Like I said, this is very basic information as of now, but I will be keeping you guys as up to date as possible. There is also one other little bit of information I really want to put out there. Like I say, the Meg movie is just the tip of the iceberg. Steve is starting putting out cover designs for Meg 5, Night Stalkers which hopefully is going to be with us fairly soon. I've still got to get my copy of Vostok. Damn it, Amazon. Um, so expect a review for that at some point. But like I say, I want to focus my efforts to get in the review for this done. And of course, the anniversary edition. Seriously. But when I got my copy, there was only about... Um, what was it, 1,700 left? Let's see, what am, which one am I, actually? I am 1,366 out of 5,000. So worth the money. And just to round off this video, like I say, the review for Jaws is nearly finished, and it will be up on the channel soon with... All new intro and everything, just for book reviews and stuff. Uh, editing for the win. Right, that should wrap this up. Thanks very much for watching, and stay tuned to this channel for more review, for more book reviews, some more information on Meg and a bunch of other stuff I'm interested in. Um, I should apologize beforehand that I've been pouring out tons of Let's Plays recently. Sorry about that, guys. I've been a bit lazy in that regard. But like I say, I'm going back to the bread and butter of the channel. Okay, don't want to drag this out any longer. It's like six minutes already. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, see ya.